Hello there, I'm the Lady of Nemesis, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. So last time we got introduced to Ronya Proska's life. A pitiful existence to be sure, and poor Rika. No wonder their mother is a drunk. A very, very mean drunk. At any rate, with our friend Leske, we did some search and discipline for our boss Barat. But the poor salt just had to pull at our coin and heartstrings. We made a little deal with Oskaius, then lied through our teeth to Barat about what had happened. He'll never find out the truth, right? For our next task, Barat has sent us to the Proving Grounds to ensure his gambling pays off. Apparently he wants his fighter to join the Grey Wardens. Turn around, Brand. No castless on the grounds. Hmm. Looks legitimate. Go on through then. But stay to the trenches. Grey Wardens don't need some eyesore getting between them and the fighters. Let's get started. Stones Embrace. That's one of them. One of the Grey Wardens. Oh, I dare you to go over and talk to him. Say, welcome to Orzammar, Warden, sir. May I drink your bathwater? Stone met, and blessings on your house. That was the proper greeting for an outsider last time I visited Orzammar. Has it changed, or is there a reason you're looking at me so strangely? My apologies. The intricacies of Dwarven society are still foreign to me. I meant no offense. My name is Duncan. I'd say of the Grey Wardens, but I suspect you already know that. Pleased to meet you. Ah, of course. That's what the face brand means, then. I remember that now. For saying hello? My friend, to a Grey Warden, nothing short of a slavering darkspawn waking you in your bedroom counts as harassment. Actually, I'm glad I met you. Whenever we come to Orzammar, we always stay in the Diamond Quarter. You forget how much of the city you miss. The Wardens are always looking for those who have the courage to spend their lives in battle against the Darkspawn. It's rare we find those with both the skill and the will. The best Wardens are ruthless to their enemies, compassionate to their friends, and inspiring to their troops. It's a lot to look for, but I hope to find it here. And I hope you also may find what you are looking for. Sodded. He's stone drunk. He could draw a dead man for his bout and still lose. <laughs> Barat's gonna kill us if we slip up here. He's already jumpy enough after that stunt with Oskaius. Hey, I just had an idea. So, you've been rubbing my nose at how you're the meanest thing with a blade, right? Eberd's armor is over there, and you're about the same size. You've got a heart of steel, Salraka. Get in the armor. How free is this? Officer Minar versus the warrior of air. Fighters, report to the ring. No more time. Make sure you have everything and go tell the Proving Guard you're ready to fight. And don't forget to keep your helmet down. I believe it is time for your bout. May fortune favor your fight, Averd. Are you ready? As you say. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Ozamar. For our honored guests, the Grey Warden. The warrior Averd, son of Galton, 
will fight Officer Mylar, survivor of the battle at Car Ellerin. You honor me with this fight. May the stone show the boldest heart and the strongest arm. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! <laughs> A truly memorable fight. The young cadet vanquishes the wily veteran. Healer, see to his injuries. The warrior Iver, son of Golden, will fight last year's journeyman division champion, Adolfo, proven in glory before the stone. You honor me with this fight. May we both win glory in the eyes of our lords. Warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The ancestors have withdrawn their blessings and embrace a new champion on their field. The warrior of air, son of Lauten, will fight Lenka, silent sister in training. She has made her vows, but not completed her bloody. Will she be accepted into the legendary order? That will depend on her performance today. Linka went to the stone without a sound, as befits her vows. But it wasn't hard to see the blood that was spilled. Ebert will advance to the final bout to determine the true champion of the ring against... What? I'm out already? Hey! That's my armor! Who are you? How dare you disrupt this sacred... Wait! I know that man. That's Everd. Then what imposter did I fight? Remove your helmet, warrior, and let all who watch you see your face. Your skills are impressive, but you are one man. Show yourself, lest I call the guards and have them do it for you. the very nature of sisters. Guards, take this filth away. Hold your man, I pray you. This warrior has defeated the best you have to offer. Is that not what this proving is for? We are honored by your presence, warden. But this proving is not solely for you. There are laws which have governed this arena for a thousand years. This woman is no warrior. She is castless, rejected by the ancestors. Her very footsteps pollute the stone. She has no place here. Except as your champion.
How hard did they sodding hit you anyway? Did you have to put up such a fight? Oh, you did. And don't think they didn't show me their appreciation. One of the guards recognized me and figured we must be working together. They burned three candles to the stump interrogating me about who put us up to this. I think they knew, you know, about Barat. You think I didn't look for a way out? Rika's not the only one in danger here. They could kill us. But these cells are built straight into the wall. And they confiscated all my lockpicks. What's it look like on your side? You see any way out? Good. You're awake. Barat will be glad to hear that. You caused a lot of trouble today. Barat lost a hundred sovereigns for Lord Volney. The entire proving was declared invalid, and the Assembly already called for an investigation. You can't imagine the state Barat was in when he told me to get you. All he needs to know is that you exposed him before the entire warrior cast. Now they're asking questions, and as long as you have tongues to answer them, you're a threat. Enjoy your last night together. Sorry we had to put you in separate cells. Or I'd suggest you have a last tumble. Barat will be by soon to make sure you maintain your silence. Leave off with your noise. You're giving me a headache. What do you mean? Oh, you're probably just upset. I remember one time when Mistress Jarvia was mad at me. She didn't lock me up, but she yelled a lot. And she hit me on the head. But it was real nice of her not to kill me. We want to get away with this. Let's get started. We can't leave one man alive to tell what you Stay still. started.
This should be easy enough. Let's get started. As you wish. This should be easy enough. As you wish. Cutting the whore free. If that freak of a sister of hers can't stay in her place, I don't need precious Rika either. Rika? That the one you got all done up in lace? I've been wanting to get my hands on that. Huh. <laughs> I know what you mean. She's yours if you want her, boys. And let me tell you, it tastes as good as it looks. What in sod all is that doing out of its cage? Come on, boys. The little whore needs to learn her place. I sense something wrong here. Charged in and sodding slaughtered him. You have to be the luckiest duster in Orzammar. Barat's dead, and we're standing here. Hail to the sodding king! Well, he sure was talking like she's still alive. But I won't turn down the chance to go take another peek. Hey, could you tell Rika I killed him? I mean, it doesn't do you any good if she thinks you're the most virile warrior in all the stone. An excellent point. Now let's go find somewhere to hide. This should be easy enough. As you wish. Seize the fugitives! Drop your weapons and walk down slowly. We will use force if you resist. He's dead? 
Rot had many enemies, but also powerful allies. They... But Rot would have butchered us if she hadn't killed him first. Your friend has once again demonstrated her courage. We Grey Wardens travel far and wide in search of those with the potential to join our ranks. It seems I have found one. Let me make my offer formal. I, Duncan of the Grey Wardens, extend the invitation for you to join our order. This woman is wanted for treason. You can't do this. I can, and I am. It would mean traveling to the surface lands and thus leaving your people. But it does offer you the chance to strike a blow against the Darkspawn and the Blight. While it is no trick, it is a dangerous life. I can promise you no guarantee of safety. I can also give you nothing in return for these hazards. In joining me, you leave all you know behind. And I see your friend would like to speak to you as well. Why don't you see what they have to say before you give your final answer? Those guys must have seriously cracked your skull. You're not gonna turn down being a Grey Warden, are you? Everyone in that Proving fought Darkspawn, and you sure flogged them. I went up one time for Barat. It's real bright. She can hardly see anything, and everything smells funny, like food instead of stone. But a city's a city, and up there, no one cared about the brand on my face. Well, don't you worry about that. Old Lesky will take care of her. She'll be the first one telling you to go. She never wanted this to be your life. Well, go back and tell him yes before he comes to his senses. I couldn't believe it when Sir Duncan said he wanted to recruit you. I was ready to kill you when I heard what you did at the Proving. But it worked out for the best. When I heard you'd been arrested, I ran straight to the Proving Grounds. But you'd already disappeared. That's when Sir Duncan said he wanted to invite you into the Grey Wardens. I almost fell over. Those are the rules of the Order. All Wardens leave their families behind. You have to go. You'll never have a better opportunity. As a warden, you'll be the equal of anyone in the noble houses. Please don't hold yourself back because of me. I think, for the first time, Mother and I will be fine. I spent the afternoon with my new patron. If everything works out, maybe I can even greet you as an equal if you return. Yes, he calls me his Amber Rose. Isn't that sweet? He has a voice like a poet. He has already promised to move Mother and me into better lodging, where he can find me more quickly when he wants me. I am. Truly. I could never make a life fighting Darkspawn. But if I can bear a son who makes his house proud, that's all I can ask. Go. Tell Duncan you're ready to be something more than a horse, little sister. Have you spoken with your friend and sister? Then before these witnesses, I hereby recruit you into the Grey Wardens. Know that you are most welcome. Before we brave the deep roads, I would like to make you a gift of this mace, since you have so few possessions of your own. It was once wielded by the Warden Foral Idukan. I believe he was related to your king. I know you will continue his proud example. Goodbye, my friends. And thank you for your hospitality. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan! 
King Kaelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Audemar. Sounds like there's a story behind that. You must regale me with it sometime. I do. I'll make sure to have the finest dwarven brew brought up from the palace cellars. After we've dealt with the blight, of course. I've been to Orzammar. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? Huh. Still, I hope to be as wise and fair a ruler as Endrin. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled grave wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. No, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, grave wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. True. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.